Hey, a great morning to be outside, and oh, so many delicious flavors here. I, I wish you could smell it at home, but you know what? You're going to have to go in and smell it for yourself. We are in the Publix Kitchen with Chef Trey Hardinger from Black Fly Cafe and Tap Room. You're on Beach Boulevard. It's been there for a while. It's right next to Strike Zone, a fishing store. That's right. But you've recently gone in there. You've changed things up. You've revamped the menu. That's correct. Yeah, not too much there because we had such a loyal following for yeah. years. Um, but uh, yeah, we're bringing in fresh seafood. We're, we're bringing in as much stuff as we can locally and uh, really just uh, treating food with as much uh, integrity as possible. Yeah, I like talking to you about your passion because you've worked at a number of great restaurants around the Jacksonville area and now you got your chance to, to kind of make one your own. That's right. Yeah, that's right. So before, uh, before the cafe, I was at Congaree and Penn for a couple of years and then Marker 32. Uh, learned a lot about local seafood, learned a lot about the local farms, and uh, established really good relationships I couldn't have otherwise. So. All right, so let's talk about here. Yeah, well, sure. What we've so, got, uh, because so many delicious looking things. Sure, so today I'm going to kind of represent what a three course meal would uh, be like at the, at the cafe. So we're going to start off with our number one selling Kong fritters. And I got this recipe from a chef in the Bahamas. What's up, Sam, if you ever see this? And it's um, a, a special time, too, with all the, the focus on the Bahamas. It's good to it really is, yeah. remember and, and think about them, and this is a great way to do that. It really is. So we're going to put uh, five fritters on the plate here. We let it sit right next to our cucumber salad, which is more or less just some pickles mm -hmm. and a spicy uh, scotch bonnet aioli. That's what I was going to say. That looks like a good take on an aioli. Yeah, you're gonna Those finish are bigger with some than salt. your typical con fritters, aren't they? Uh, they're a little bit larger, yeah. We have some leavener in there, some baking powder. Um, but yeah, we have a large scoop too. So that's uh, that would be a great appetizer to start with. Nine dollars on the menu. Uh, we make them fresh three times a week. Um, and then uh, going on to the entree, uh, one of my favorites. Um, and this is kind of uh, fusing a French technique with a oh, with yes. a Cuban tradition. Look um, at that chicken right there. So this is a uh, braised mojo chicken. Uh, we caramelize the chicken really well. We uh, braise it off with a bunch of fresh orange juice, um, lemon wedges onions and garlic and we put it on the plate a la carte i'm done right there that's mine <laughs> that's my choice i love a little tropical flair on moho chicken what are we doing here this is our chicken jus so this is the sauce that's strained out after the chicken is roasted and we're just kind of uh we've reduced that that jus and we're finishing it with some butter again with the french technique um this is called mounting the sauce pretty much so just going to kind of let this pour all over. Just plate it up. Wow. Look at that. Nice fatty acidic sauce, really well balanced there. And then a la carte with the entrees, we're going to have some rice and beans. This rice here is uh, from our local favorite, Congaree and Penn. They grow this rice here in Jacksonville. They mill it okay. fresh for us every week. So we cook Love this in a local flair. Yeah, we thank you. We cook this in a traditional kind of Caribbean style. Turmeric, ginger, peppers, garlic, onions, and then we're gonna finish with some slow braised black beans with a lot of epizote, which is a classic Latin uh, herb that's used in uh, mm -hmm. bean cookery. Hey, I, I don't know if the camera saw yeah, it, but I've had, <laughs> I've had this fork and knife in my hand for a little bit. Yeah, that's really hot. Your location. Yeah, our location, we're just east of 295 on Beach Boulevard, um, right next to Strike Zone. And we have a, have a nice little patio out there. We've got a 60-seat cafe. Uh, we're just opening up this new happy hour menu with the, it, okay. really nice deals. Probably some of the best deals in town for happy hour, 4 to 7, um, Monday through Friday for happy hour. Local beers. Yeah, local beers. Uh, those are on uh, discount, too, for happy hour, local beers. We source as much things, uh, as much food as we can locally. Um, hey, Chef yeah. Trey, thank you so much. That is delicious. You're and welcome. I'm going to get into the chicken as we toss to the break. Mm. And to finish up, we've got, got some work to do here. We'll be right back. Oh, yeah.